Today's video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. I'm back down here digging some dirt to uh, haul up to the new building. But that's not what today's video is about. However, I have been getting a lot of questions, people asking uh, what am I going to fill this big hole in with? And what I'm going to do is this bank here beside me to the right, I'm going to cut it down and put that dirt in the hole. And some people may ask why I just didn't use that dirt up there, because it's uh, different dirt. And I'm particular about my dirt. This is good shale down here, and up on that bank is a mix of some clay, some finer shale, and some topsoil. So the stuff that I'm digging here will make better fill for up by the building. And that stuff on the bank will be pretty good just to fill in this hole. And I'll have to compact this some when I put it in here, but you know I'm not planning on building anything right here. Probably just uh, store firewood. Actually, probably saw logs will go over here once I get this widened out a little bit. But anyway, the title of today's video, uh, we got rid of the Jeep. We had a 2017 Sahara Unlimited, you know, a four-door. And we really liked it. We've had it four years and uh, low miles, excellent condition. You know, it's been kept in the garage all this time. And you know, we have a new Bronco coming that we ordered, it's supposed to be here in June, but we needed another vehicle, uh, something for Eva to drive. She's That's not gonna be her Jeep, but yeah, she'll be allowed to drive the, Jeep. the Bronco, my pickup, whatever. Uh, but we had to get a replacement for the Jeep, and we did. And so we're going to show you that today. And uh, But I actually had a great experience at a car dealership, which that never happens. About a month ago, I went to a place, and uh, I was looking to trade our Jeep in. And it was a beautiful Saturday afternoon. I mean, just beautiful out. And I didn't really want to go because I didn't want to spend my whole day at a car dealership. So I went in and I was really polite and everything. And I said, <clears throat> I said, you know, I just want to, uh, I'm looking to get a new vehicle here. What will you give me on trade for my Jeep? Because I didn't want to deal with selling it outright. And I was there three hours to get the price on the new vehicle and the price on the new Jeep or the price for the trade in. And it wasn't very good at all, at least in my opinion. And, and you know, they hold their value really well, Jeeps do, Jeep Wranglers. And I had an idea what it was worth, and they were nowhere near it. And then he started wanting to, you know, haggle and negotiate. And I kind of said when I went in there, you know, just give me your best number right out of the gate there. I won't try to beat you up. We won't go back and forth. And it just didn't work out. So I kind of forgot about it. But I did find a place the other day. I drive by it almost every day going to work, and we got it all worked out. So here in a little bit, Melissa will be home and uh, we'll show it to you and kind of explain the what and the why we bought it. I just talked to Melissa on the phone. She's on her way home and she should be here in about five minutes with the Jeep's replacement. The 
So we replaced the Jeep with another Jeep. What do you think? I love it. So Much this is more comfortable. It is, and I don't know what they did differently, but the seats are definitely more comfortable yeah. than ours. But more our old one. Comfy. This is a uh, 2021 uh, Rubicon Unlimited. It's the four door, and it definitely changed a bunch in the dash here. Uh, looks a lot nicer, and it looks like they kind of tucked it in a little bit. Yeah. The other, you know, give you a little bit more room. The controls are a little different. The windows, of course, controls are right here, but radio. This whole screen is functional yeah the other jeep it had a smaller screen but it was just pretty much radio and satellite. yeah this one has navigation all that and it's much easier yeah. to navigate uh just the whole screen in general one thing that i wish they would have changed is these right here a lot of times when i'm turning i always hit these by accident right here oh you I, probably never have done that. I don't, but if you want to stand very still, my foot's on the brake. I'm going to put it in reverse so you can see the screen. Okay. Yeah, it's got a really nice backup camera. The camera, yeah. I want to show you that, but wanted to be careful. Yeah. Very clear. I think it's 4K. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing, I think they moved the back seat. I'll move back there once. Yeah, let's go back there. Here's the back. Now you seem to have a little bit more room back here than uh, the other one, but I think we lost a little bit of room in the back. Yeah, I believe so. I would have to check the manuals and the specs, but I'm pretty sure this is shortened, but you've gained it this. And putting in a car seat, I know with our grandson, Ty, I like that. Plus yeah, with the car seat in your Sahara that you had, right. I noticed I couldn't put that seat to where I'm comfortable. <laughs> right. the, the front seat would hit it. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's really nice. Uh, it's a Rubicon. I'm going to go around to the back. You can stay right there. Open the back door up. Okay. Yeah, it does look a little bit, a uh, little bit less room back here. And our last Jeep. We had a big speaker right here in the floor, mm -hmm. and it was protected well, but I never really understood that because you put a bunch of heavy things in here. But this one, Off to the side. This big Alpine The only thing I noticed just recently when I took our dog Ruger to the vet, he laid in the back. He isn't really comfortable in a car, but he was able to hunker down back here. He's fine. Here I had the radio on, and it was thumping through that, and he did not like that. So <laughs> yeah, He was laying on the speaker, Yeah, basically. that was something I recently thought was uh, there's a uh, outlet back here and I think there may even be a 110 back here somewhere too I'd have to check some storage underneath there that's nice got a little tie downs right here now there is up here behind the main console well is there a 110 there yeah nice and then you have your window controls and then I was like, oh no, there's not a cup holder, and Eva was like, they're right here. So this goes up for a third person to sit in the second seat, or flops down for cup holders, and they make these new dividers that obviously hold a phone, so that's pretty cool. We'll do a video, kind of a whole review of this thing uh, at yeah. some point, kind of go over all the features, but uh, this one being the Rubicon, you can disengage the uh, sway bar. It's got differential lock. It's definitely, I don't know what it is, but you seem to sit up a little higher. You do. And can see over the hood a little yeah. bit better. It's the seating, whatever they, you know, modified or made different with the seating. It's more comfortable and you do sit up, so. Now we're gonna go outside and talk about what we don't like so far. Yeah, and show them how that door shuts. So there's a little bit. Oh yeah, it's like a, a spring assist kind of thing. You get to a certain point. Old one didn't do that. What do you think, miss? Yeah. Well, we're going to hop on now and we'll show you what uh, we're not huge fans of, but we can change. Okay.
So earlier I mentioned that today's video was sponsored by Bespoke Post, and I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with them, they provide a monthly subscription service geared towards men with uh, some really cool man stuff, I guess you could say. Here's a look at their website. It kind of shows what they have to offer and how this all works. You can scroll down here. Uh, you can join for free. You take the quiz, you tell them what you like and what you don't like, and they'll find your first box. Then you can preview your box. You can keep it, swap it, or skip it. You're in control, zero commitment. Boxes cost $45, but are traditionally worth $70. Then you get your box. What comes in the box is a personalized mix of unique products and a whole lot of bang for your buck. One of my favorite things about Bespoke Post is during the COVID-19 crisis, they purchased almost $42 million worth of products just from small businesses. All right, now I want to show you the box I received this month. Everything comes in this Chef Field field box, aka ammo can. First up, we have a book, Surviving the Great Outdoors. Now, I leafed through this a little bit ago. It was written by Brendan Leonard. It's a very well-written book, lots of good information in it. I really like stuff like this. I think what I'll do with this is read it from cover to cover, and then I will give this to my future son-in-law. Uh, if you don't know the backstory on that, he's, he's a good guy, but he's from uh, Southern California. And when he went to propose to my daughter, he had this master plan to go up into the mountains to some scenic overlook. And uh, they pretty much got stuck in the wilderness. Lots of snow, lots of ice. I drove three hours thinking I'm going to pull them out. I almost got stuck. Big towing bill. It was a whole thing. But anyway, I think he could use this. Next up, we have a commando wire saw. Paracord bracelet. That's pretty cool. Lots of paracord on that. And then, whoa, boy, look at this. Check out this knife right here. Boy, that's nice. It's really nice. Check that out. Got the gut hook on it. That is a nice knife. And a sheath. That is a really nice knife. Very cool. If you are interested in something like this, there will be a link in the description and you can use our coupon code, Morgans20, and I think you get 20% off uh, your first box, but I'm telling you what, that is a nice knife right there. Really nice. Huh. But anyway, check out that link in the description. So what's the one thing you're not a fan of so far? <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm not a fan. I just can notice a difference in the height and the tires of the vehicle. So I walk up to it. This is the first time I can walk up to the Jeep and be like, oh, hi. I'm usually like looking in, did I leave my purse in there? You know, there's just now it's equal to me. And that's fine. These tires and the wheels are very nice. If you can see the red Jeep emblem is on each of the rims. But those are, uh, those would be, I think, a 33 inch tire. And our old Jeep had a three and a half inch JKS lift and 35s. And uh, I don't know why. It, you know, you get worse gas mileage, but it, they just look better, better for off roading. Not that that's something we do very often, but I just like a Jeep with 35s and a lift on it. You know, right. I do. At some point, we'll probably do that with this one. We're not sure when. But I'll give you a closer look at those tires. These are the uh, BF Goodrich All-Terrain TAs, the KO2s. These are a really good tire. I remember uh, on our work truck several years ago, we all tried to get these when we needed new tires. Sometimes they would approve them and sometimes they would not. But if I remember correctly, I think I got like 75,000 miles out of these on a pickup at one time, which is really good. But the color of this thing... Snazberry Pearl. Your uh, jacket there kind of matches. Was that planned? Yeah. Was it? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you know what? I never wear this jacket and look. We're usually uh, earth tone kind of people for our vehicles. Like at my truck, 
Our old Jeep was that Gobi. Uh, oh, yeah. This is really nice. I thought you were talking about my jacket. Like, no. Well, I like to wear some colors. I don't like that it's short. I can't pull it down. But anyways, oh, you're, back you're to You're talking Jeep. about your jacket. We're talking about a Jeep here. <laughs> I want to say, so I've just learned that the package the Rubicon always yeah. gets trimmed in the red. Yeah, the red tow hooks and all that. And there's some red underneath it. And it, the lettering is outlined in red. The inside, you noticed the dash was red. And there's red stitching, yeah. And uh, now this one here has the two liter turbo. Our last one had a three six. I think this one's a little peppier, uh, but like this one's an automatic. Last one was a six speed manual. I believe this is an eight speed automatic transmission. A lot of people, companies are going to that, like the EcoBoost in my F-150 oh, okay. is a 10 speed automatic with the three five twin turbo. And so far I'm amazed, you yeah. know what I mean? But this does seem a little, a little peppier, don't you think? Yeah, you don't have to stick your foot out the side to push. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's nice. I like the color. I'm, I wasn't sure of that at first, and uh, it almost changes color when the sun hits it. Yes. Plus, this has the uh, LED light package and all that. And like I said, we'll go over it all in another video at some point. Yeah. So many of you may be asking, why on earth did we get a new Jeep when we have a new Bronco coming? Well, we'll explain that here in just a minute. Okay, so you're probably wondering why we bought this new Jeep. There's several reasons for it. Uh, number one, our old one, uh, like I said, was four years old. Didn't have a lot of miles on it. Excellent condition, garage kept and all that. And by the way, if you're interested in our old Jeep, uh, it's at Deal Automotive of Robinson. And I cannot recommend those guys enough. Yeah. I do not like buying cars. I'm not a fan of that at all. I mentioned earlier how I went to a dealer and I was there for three hours just to get a an offer for the trade for hours and it was a totally different experience at this deal outfit and the salesman rod he is old school mm -hmm. love the guy yeah. i mean he was great to deal with uh because i had found this jeep online and it was a deal of moon and uh i drive by this place every single day on my way to work so i stop in it wasn't deal of moon it was deal of robinson different dealership so i told him about this jeep he says i'll just bring it over here tomorrow I stopped by. So I stopped by the next day and I liked it. And he said, do you have anything you want to trade? And I'm like, we may trade our, our 2017 on it. And then I got to thinking about it and I'm like, with the experience I had at the last dealership, maybe I should just sell it outright. They're probably not going to offer me anything. So I called him. I said, you know what? I'll just sell that one outright and uh, we'll buy this one. And he said, just bring it down. He says, there's no rush. You know, whenever you can come down, I'll hold on to this one, bring it down and at least let us take a look at it maybe. And sure enough, uh, it was a fair offer. I have nothing against anyone making money. It's a great thing seeing people working and people that build these in Toledo, Ohio and all that. But it was a very good offer for trade and the whole process down there was fantastic. Matter of fact, I'll put, if you're in the market for anything like that, I can't emphasize enough what a pleasant experience it was. And I'm not just saying that, the guy was great, old school, no fuss, no messing around, love it. But his name was Rod. I think I have his card here. Yeah, and let me tell you, I'm saying yes the whole time he's talking. I didn't go with Mike, he went by himself. But when he left with the intentions of visiting the dealership, I was like, this oh. is not gonna go well. So I said to the <laughs> girls, more than likely, your dad's gonna come home in a really bad mood. So be sure you're aware of what's going on. He called, he's like, this guy's great, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Rod Mason is his name and his phone number, I'll put it right here, and it's dealauto.com and they're in, uh, yeah. near, out near the- If you want our Jeep, contact Rod. Yeah, it's down there, because uh, I said, will you take this to the auction or leave it on the lot? He said, probably leave it on a lot. I said, you better leave it on a lot. I said, because someone, it's a nice yeah. Jeep, you know what I mean? It's More real. than likely they took the YouTube stickers off of it. But. Yeah, probably did. <laughs> But so what my thinking is here, you know, we have the new Bronco coming and we have this, we're all gonna drive this, it'll last us many, many years because uh, we don't put that many miles. And I do like car videos on YouTube. I don't know if I mentioned that already or not, but we will do some videos comparing both this against the Ford Bronco. And we like Jeeps, we like Broncos, and uh, it definitely won't be every video or anything like that. Maybe one every couple weeks, but the the content is endless really you know removing yeah. the doors off a jeep versus bronco you know they sell hundreds of thousands of these a year 
and uh, I think there's Bronco is going to be right there with it. So there will be some good information out there. It will make a nice library for anyone in the market. But we're right. definitely not turning into an automotive channel by any means. But no. every couple of weeks you'll see a video on this with the Bronco when we get it. And at some point we'll do a video on this kind of going over the whole thing and maybe like a three-month review or something. I like that idea. But yeah, so it'll be good. Wasn't sure about this color, but I like it. I do like the color. I do. And I like it trimmed in the red, so I think that Snazberry be Pearl. Yeah. Never heard of it. Huh. Well, it's a new color. Yeah. It's their one time color or something. Yeah. One time color. So, so they, that, did, they did good. That's the story on the Jeep. I'm going to get back to work here right now. And uh, oh, I also want to mention a channel uh, that I've been watching. I'll do that here in a little bit when I'm digging, but another channel for you guys to check out. So, you're going to go make dinner now, huh? Yep. All right. I'm going to get back to work and uh, carry on. All right. I got uh, four loads brought up here. Not too bad. I had to get into a few other things. I was hoping to finish this today. I won't quite get it. It's actually going pretty good though. Kind of funny. I went into the house there, had some, uh, had a late lunch, right? And I was looking at this knife again. Where is it? I got it here somewhere. I was looking at this knife again that I was showing you guys earlier. And I told Hannah. I said I was talking about your fiance in the video earlier and she said you're gonna give him that knife I said no I'm not giving him that knife I'm keeping this knife but I'll give him the uh, survival book and he can read that knife's gonna stay here oh, I also mentioned earlier about a channel that uh, I recommend you guys checking out it's called essential mountain homestead uh, he's in Utah, or no, Idaho, not in Utah, he's in Idaho, and I watched another one of his videos last night, he's got this old dump truck, old army truck, got the super singles on it, uh, it's a nice truck, it, it would be great to have something like that around here, I actually looked for those for years, but, uh, he works it hard too, but yeah, check out his channel, it's called Essential Mountain Homestead. I'll put a link maybe in the description or something so you can find it. But uh, I actually talked to him one time before, but he does a lot of digging, a lot of building, all different types of things. Great guy. In my favorite state, Idaho is my favorite state. I'm just going to say it. It really is. I've been there four or five times, and uh, I love everything about that state. So check out. Central Mountain Homestead. Kind of get a little distracted here. I don't want to run into the corner of the building there. Wouldn't that be something? Woo! But anyway, since this really isn't a uh, dirt digging video, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. So uh, that's the story on the new Jeep and why we got it and all that. And I uh, also want to thank Bespoke for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. And like I said, there will be a link in the description, and you can use our code MORGANS20 to get 20% off your first box. And uh, they do have cool stuff. They really do. And like when you're my age, I'm 54 right now. Like knives and stuff, I've got a bunch of them. I do. But like I like to pick out my favorites. I like to give stuff away. You know, give stuff to your kids. Uh, when it comes time for the holidays, Melissa's like, do you have anything for my dad or go get something for my dad or his birthday? I always have something, and I like giving stuff away. Um, I'm not giving this knife away. That's not happening. But anyway, check out the link in the description. And like I always say, I appreciate you all being here. I really do. And if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends.